Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing good in this tough times. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. Be helpful to the needy but do not compromise your safety while doing it. So let's come to the topic we are going to learn today. Today we will learn about angles. But before starting angles, let's just discuss about the lines first. As we have studied earlier about the lines, that a line is a long thin mark which extends in both directions without ends. That means a line can be extended from both directions. As we can see lines in many objects around us. Can you see? Just look around yourself. See? The door, window, wall, almira, table, chair. Everything has a line. Do you see any lines anywhere in anything? Just look around. Okay. See, here is a flag with a pole. Can you see a line in this photo? Yes. The pole is a line. This pole is a line. And same as in the picture of ladder. The both sides of ladder are forming lines. This side is a line and this side is also a line. Can you say this is also a line? This is also a line? No, because it is ending here and we have learned that line can be extended in both direction without ends. Okay, see, here in this house, the roof slides of this house are lines. As you can see, this line and this line. Both are the lines. But do you know what will be called this point where these lines are meeting? It is called vertex. The point where two lines are meeting is known as vertex. Do you know what will we call the whole figure which is forming here by these two lines? This one line and this another line. Do you know? Yes, you guessed it right. This figure will be known as angle. Now we will define the angle. An angle is formed when two lines meet or you can see in this clip two lines are meeting at a point called vertex. These two lines will be known as arms and the angle is formed between these lines. So this whole thing is an angle. Lines will be called as arms of the angle and this will be the vertex of an angle. Now, see, here is a clock. Can you see any angle in this clock? Just watch carefully. Think. Have you found it? No, you haven't found it. Okay, I'll tell you. The hands of this clock are lines here. And angle is made between these two lines here. So this is an angle. And this is its vertex. Okay?
Hmm. So, do you like pizza? I am missing pizza very much in this quarantine day. These quarantine days are so much boring without pizza. I can't eat pizza right now. But what I can see is angle here. Can you see any angle here? Besides these toppings and yummy cheese? Have you got? Okay, let me show you. In each slice, there are two lines which you are making angle here. The edges of the slice. Here, one line. Here, another line. And angle is forming between these two lines. Now you got it. Just like this slice, each slice is showing an angle. This will be the vertex of an angle and these will be the arms of this angle. In the scissor, I can see an angle too. Can you? Yes, that's right. Here is an angle. But I can see more angles in this figure. Here is an angle. And here is an angle too. And here too. So, this figure contains many angles. Do you know there are many type of angles? But we will focus only main three types of angles. Types of angles can be many more. But we will study about acute angle, obtuse angle and right angle. These three types of angles can be seen everywhere in our house or surrounding. But how can you identify these angles? For identifying these angles, you have to learn about these angles. And I can make you learn in very interesting and fun way. Do you want to dance or sing with me? Let's go. By a creative to select all the names of the angles we identify. A few, you're so cute, you're always less than 90 degrees. Give me a woo A two, you're so big, you're always greater than 90 degrees. Can you dig up? Right, right, you're alright, you're exactly 90 degrees out of sight, right? A cute to select. Are the names of the angles we identify. So, do you enjoy the video? I know you have. It was very funny. And I love the dance. Okay, back to the topic. You all learn about the angles by that video. But now I will discuss you. In a short way, the angle which measures exactly 90 degree is known as right angle. The angle as we have watched in the video, cute, small, acute angle measures less than 90 degree. That means when two lines meet at less than 90 degrees is known as acute angle. And when two lines meet at more than 90 degrees, then it will known as obtuse angle. So, have you all learned about right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle? I know. I have a question for you. Do you know, we all have one common thing in our home where we can see different kind of angles per second. That means every second 
you can see a different angle in that thing. Think. Look around yourself. Look at your house. It may be on your wall. Okay. Now I'll tell you the answer. The answer is clock. Yes, clock. How many have you got the right? Okay, whoever got it right, just clap for yourself. Okay, now I'll see you. These are the three types of angles formed in these clocks. In first clock, there is an acute angle which is less than 90 degree. The hands of the angles are making an angle less than 90 degree. So it will be an acute angle. In second clock, the clock struck 3 and the arms are at 90 degree. So it will be a right angle. In third clock, here is both hands have less than 90 degree? No, it is greater than 90 degree. So it will be obtuse angle. Uh, so we have discussed about line. It was a quick revision of line. We have discussed about angle, types of angles. And what were the types of angles? Acute, obtuse and right. Yes, you identified it right. So, here is a homework for you. It will be fun. Just look at the clocks, look at the hands and identify which kind of angles is shown by these clocks. So, this will be all from my side. And as I said earlier, please take care of yourself. Do not roam around for no reason. Keep yourself busy with some extracurricular activities. But please do not compromise with your studies. Okay, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.